Okay, so we're moving on to step number four. Filling the remaining times with presentations. Call enough people to hit the numbers that you need to earn the income that you desire, right? It's important to get this right or you'll derail your success right here. Gmail or Google calendars work great for this purpose that I set up in Google calendars. And that's how I plan my week. Google calendars work great for this purpose if you want to have an online version. Say for example, you have someone else booking appointments. You can then set time slots on your calendar that you will be in the field for them to fill in. Then there's no question that those time slots are reserved for your in the field presentations. Key principle, you must be committed to being in front of the number of appointments you need each week, which means you need to have enough leads to have enough people to call in order to have a chance to set the number of appointments you need to be sure you are in front of the number of people presenting your product or your options. If you don't have enough leads, that means you can't stop there and use that as an excuse. It means you have to be willing to call friends, family, get referrals, do some door knocking, whatever it takes, you must, without fail, have the number of appointments you need based on your closing ratio. This trips up so many people and they allow themselves to use it as an excuse. I don't have enough leads, I don't have enough appointments. You had to be committed before you put your head down the pillow to start that week out that you've done everything you can to make sure that you're in front of how many appointments that you need each week in order to, based on your closing ratio, close the sales you need to earn the income that you said was your goal. Be a goal achiever, not just a goal setter. Let me share with you what my rule is if you're a brand new agent and one that I use with my agents. And that is to set your closing ratio at 50%. So if you need five sales, you must have 10 appointments to hit that income goal annually. Now I have a video out there, it's called Law of Large Numbers, and I'll try to put it up here for you to click on, and that will explain to you how to accomplish either part-time or full-time and understand those numbers and to be able to set the correct expectations and the activity based on the income that you want to desire. But I'm also gonna give you a great tool in this video in just a few moments. If you're looking to make six figures in this business, either part-time or full-time, you have to be committed to 10 appointments per week. This is where most people get off track. If they need 10 appointments, they buy five leads and they stop and use that as an excuse. You cannot allow yourself that option. So if you look at your handout right now, here you can see on this page right here, underneath step four, you can see what you're shooting for on your calendar each week. Leave no white space on your working days or your in-field days. And then fill in your trainings, your conference calls, your webinars, all that stuff in your other time slots. Okay, right. so wrapping up our three things that we are in control of, the third one, which is our attitude. I want you to watch the 212 degrees video here in YouTube. The extra degree and talent versus tenacity. I'll put the link in the description on this video. Go grab it after you complete this section. Your daily habits are not a matter of life and death, but your success is completely dependent on your daily habits. Key success principle. There are two kinds of activities. Things we feel like doing and things we don't. Success comes from being tested in the fire, learning how to win in the grind, being pushed to your limits and having your character shaped by challenging circumstances. Jim Rohn said, don't wish you were easy, wish you were better. Commit to this coaching model and you'll become your very, very best. I challenge all of you as we close up this section to commit to this coaching model. Find a coach and mentor that's leading from the front that can take you step by step, case by case, day by day, by the hand and teach you the success principles and skill sets for this business. And if you do that, you will become your very, very best, I promise. But you have to be committed to the process. Key concepts to keep your attitude in check. Number one, it's easier to give birth than to raise the dead. Don't get stuck with the maybes. Look for yeses and nos and move on. Don't count on the follow-ups. Focus on the next lead or the next prospect. Care about helping people more than you care about the commission you're gonna make. For things to change, you must change. For things to get better, you must get better. The chains of worry are heaviest in idle moments. Most things can be solved with increasing your activity. Consistency creates momentum and consistency sustains momentum. 
All distractions are equal. Get rid of them. All excuses are equal. Get rid of them. Keep doing the things over and over and over. Keep doing the basics over and over and over. Presenting the product is the lifeblood of our business. Make presentations daily. Develop a want to versus a have to. Have a do or die attitude. Don't reinvent the wheel. Keep it simple and duplicate a proven system from a coach or mentor that is doing it themselves. No tweaking, no tweaking until you're successful using a system that works. Work the next 90 days like your life depended on it. Serve, don't sell. I love that one. This one is for all you analytical folks. I love you guys, but it's better to present with ignorance on fire than have knowledge on ice. The bigger the problem, the bigger the paycheck. Be willing to solve tough problems for your clients, right? Be aware of your habits. Are you lying to yourself? Dress for success. I am planning to do an entire video series on that subject alone with Angela. Build on a solid foundation, one brick at a time, one day at a time. Communicate with feelings, not just words. People buy from people they like, know, and trust. When presenting, know your purpose, know their why. If you're going to build an agency, here's some mindset reminders for you. Lead by example. Your team will do what you do, not what you say. And this one's important. We spend a lot of time and money perfecting this model. If people can't make it to the training meetings, take the training meetings to them. Use technology and meet them where they are. That's the only way you can grow nationwide. I know this one's been long and I probably lost a lot of you somewhere around the eight minute mark. And that's dangerous. Be committed to stay for the entire video, even if you have to come back to it. One nugget that could unlock your business. You may have stopped the video, paused it, or went away and never came back. Try to be committed to watching the video and taking notes. If you write it down, you'll retain it better, right? So to finish up the success principle number two, understanding what you control, let's talk about the formula for personal sales income. You can't teach what you don't know and you can't lead where you won't go yourself. Right. Building success here starts with you. We make money in three ways, right? Seeing the people and presenting our products and protecting families. Number two, seeing the people and presenting our products and protecting families. And number three, seeing the people and presenting our products and protecting families. Top income earners in this industry are just high paid storytellers and high paid presenters. Your commitment to the basics, making dials, setting appointments, running appointments, presenting the products, writing the applications will make you also a great team leader should you decide to build your own agency. And they will duplicate your activity by your example and respect the fact that you're doing what you're asking them to do. By leading from the front, the speed of the leader determines the speed of the pack. This is how you build a solid income base with personal sales while also creating a lucrative management income, team sales, and earn the respect of your team. Any other way, in my opinion, will lead to failure and a complete lack of respect from your team. That's why I speak out so boldly against recruiters only. These folks, sooner or later, are found out by their teams and they fail out of the business. Time will either promote you or it will expose you. So as we close out this week, let's take a quick look at this week's homework, your handouts. We got a really nifty calculator here at the bottom of this page. Now, if you stayed on this video this long, in the comment section, I have a phenomenal income projection worksheet. It applies to all areas, health, life, mortgage station, final expense, and all you need to do is plug in your numbers. It's a fantastic tool to use to calculate what you need to do in this business, number of appointments, based on your closing rate and the average sale. You plug in the numbers, it'll spit out some really, really valid data that you can use to make sure that you're setting the personal goals correctly. But a real quick formula is at the bottom of this page works wonderful. So if you'd like to have that, make sure you put a comment in the comment section. Please send me the income estimating worksheet. You must have already signed up to receive the handouts, otherwise I will not have your email address in order to send it to you. Please don't put your email address in the comments. So using this handout, just go down, my personal sales income goal, and fill in the blanks, your average commission, presentations I need to make, presentations I need to make each week, presentations I need to make each day, and at the bottom here is a great little calculator that you can use 
to figure out exactly. It's based on a 50% closing ratio, but you can put anything you want to in there. Maybe it's 30% starting out and you'll get better as your skills get better, but it'll give you a real quick way to come up with your goals. And on the next handout is your personal daily achievement, your PDA. Make multiple copies of this. I recommend you three hole punch it and put it in a binder so you can really take advantage of this section of this series. If you're disciplined and you really study this material and take advantage of the principles that are being taught in success habits that work, I believe you're setting yourself up for massive success in this industry this year. Now in our next series, we're gonna be covering your 21 day habit formation, success principle number three. This section was probably the largest section of this entire series. So if you need to stop the video, come back to it, please do that. Digest all this information and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.